Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Paper Mario The Thousand Year Door. In the last episode, we took care of all of the troubles in Rogueport up to the end game, the post game. We also talked to Luigi and we bought all of his available books and read them and they are something. Today we are back here at the doorway of the thousand year door because we are we're ready guys we're ready to start the final chapter why kept you mario well it doesn't matter now i don't think they're in the vicin i don't think they're in the vicinity anymore they must have found another way to get through the door You know the famous Professor Colorado? He was a student of Frankly's. Oh, that's cool. Okay. It all comes down to this. Hurry now, Mario. Hold aloft the last crystal star. The, l the stuff lines up. Getting some fancy new uh, lighting. The pedestal glows. All seven crystal stars. Two, three, four, five, garnet, crystal. Diamond, emerald, gold, ruby, sapphire, garnet, crystal. Look, the door! Diamond, emerald, gold, ruby, sapphire, garnet, Crystal. The door's pulsing. It's gonna open. Uh oh. Uh, shadow mist. At long last, the entrance to the Palace of Shadows has been opened. Before Princess Peach falls victim to that fiend. Before he takes over the world. You must rescue the princess and stop this cataclysm. Come on, Mario. Me? I just get in the way. I'll wait here and uh, watch the door. Yes, that's it. It's all up to you, Mario. Stop their foul ambition and save Princess Peach. I'm pretty sure Frankly would rather come in. Something's odd about him. But we don't have to worry about that now because... Chapter 8! The Thousand Year Door. We are at the end game, guys. Let's go in. This is all dungeon, by the way. There's no pre-walking there like in uh, Paper Mario. This is all there is. Uh, this place is freaky, but we don't have no we don't have a choice. We got to get in there and save Peach before this gets out of hand. Come on, Mario. Oh yeah. So, the Palace of Shadows. I'm actually curious. This is the entrance to the Palace of Shadows. It's seen no visitors for a thousand years. It's so big, it kind of overwhelms you, doesn't it? And that treasure is here. Treasure or no, I don't like the vibe of this place. Maybe it's just my nerves. There's a long stairway connected to this underground lake. Those lights floating in the darkness are really pretty, but also pretty spooky. So we have, there's no more, uh, um, oh gosh, what is it called? There's no more star pieces, no more shine sprites to collect, but we do still have the two badges. In addition, there's also some final enemies to tattle later on deep within this palace. 
Now, I do have first attack and the bump badge, but so that we can experience the, the palace, I decided we are going to be playing as if we still had to combat stuff. Now that being said, we do have things like, oh, those don't kill though. Yeah, that's fine. I missed on the stylus. Stylish. Rude. Also, I totally forgot about Goombell. Uh, being low health because of our battle against Bone Tail. Which, by the way, Bone Tail will always only give off one star point. He is level one. So, if you were looking to, like, grind a lot of levels off of Bone Tail, that's not why you go down to the pit. Okay. So, before I forget... Goombles. There you go, girl. I think this is going to be four. That is the power of a superstar stage, by the way. Okay. Lucky! And that got defeated. One more. Dang it, the timing for the... for Goombles is really tight. Stylish! And... Doing very bad when it comes to stylish jumping. I do like that we have an underground lake here. What else do we have? Okay, next room. Ooh, dry bones. We face dry bones down in the pit. There is still another kind of bones that we have to deal with though, and that is the dark bones. So somewhere up ahead, we have a boss battle that we have to deal with. Mid boss battle. Could it even be called a boss battle? I don't know. Uh, let's get rid of, uh, Maple Super. Ha! Okay. Lucky! Briefly recovered. Multi-bounce. Bounce, bounce! I feel you're the bigger threat because you do four hearts of self-healing damage. Never mind! Dry Bones is the one who gets defeated first. Each and every time. No questions asked. That was nine damage. Okay. We have... I hear the cannons. There they are. Okay, flip. Tattle. That's a bombshell bill. B-Bill blasters shoot these repeatedly. Max HP is 3, attack is 6, defense is 2. Its attack is high, but its HP is low, so take it out before it takes you out. 
Then again, if you if you focus on these guys, you'll never win. Smack that B Bill Blaster. Multi bounce. This is another good way to uh, train. Is by just getting in front of these guys and just grind out B Bill Blasters. 100 bullets equals one level. I am surprised by how quick these B Bill Blasters Bombshell Bill Blasters are shooting us. I don't think I hit what I wanted. Nope. Rude. Lucky. Okay, FP will briefly recover. Uh, Tattle. That's a B Bill Blaster. It fires bombshell bills. Sorry for the abbreviation. Max HP is 10, defense is 4. It, it's really, really tough. Yeah, hard to hurt this guy. Thing is, if you don't take it out, it'll keep shooting bombshell bills at you. So you gotta figure out a way to beat it, and fast. Well, that should be easy, just spin jump. I was correct! Okay, and then you take care of the bombshell bill. And then you do another spin jump. And take care of him! Okay. Are you kidding me? Coops. Oh, this better not get rid of that badge. Get out of here, Swoopula. Okay. There we go. All or nothing. This is the final badge to increase my attacks. Hit action command. Attack rises. Fail, it drops to zero. So, off with that. And you. This is the badge I've been waiting for. And we still have two points. One point. One point. Ah. Okay, I guess that goes back on. And then up. There we go. Ooh, I recall this kind of room from Bowser's Castle. If you guys remember this room from Bowser's Castle, then that means you know Hopscotch. Are you kidding me? Hop. 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 
Hop. Hop. Okay, so it doesn't spin as fast. Okay, there we go. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now we have... I don't know what that means. It gave me lucky for no reason. We have phantom embers, which are like the spectral spirits. One, two... Are you kidding me? All the way back, huh? Oh goodness. Boo sheet. Let's get rid of... Oh gosh. I guess a power punch. It hurts me so much to give it up. We definitely, uh, Miss Mouse. Secret? Wait, seriously? Where did I miss a secret? Oh, it was probably the power up punch. Yeah, it was the power up punch. Okay, we have a special room here. One that requires goom. Blurgle, blurg! None shall pass by. Let those who would disturb her sleep fall into the depths of endless darkness. Yeek! May the intruder never find the key to this door. Rude. There's no way to first strike this opponent. Can't flee this fight. And... Tattle. That's a Dark Bones. It's the baddest of the Bones gang. Max, max HP 20, attack is 5, and defense is 2. When its HP goes down to 0, it collapses into a pile, but it'll eventually rise again. Fire and explosions will put a permanent end to it. Getting back up, though. Its HP is high, so it's hard to take it down. Like any other Bones, it sometimes builds friends if it feels outnumbered. It's a pretty tough enemy. You'd better take it and its buddies out all at once. Okay. Let's do... Let's do Supernova, actually. Tap A. Tap A repeatedly. One. Two. Three. Keep tapping A. Four. I believe this is the last one. Five. Yes. So that is the power of Supernova. Let's swap to Bobbery. I 
don't need a uh, audience member who's willing to blow uh throw trash at me FOMO blast this will get rid of all those unwanted bones And we got the palace key. A key for a door in the Palace of Shadows. Okay. Ultra Shroom. That's definitely gang taking a place of a maple syrup. We struck first. So to clarify, I'm now doing 7 damage per jump, but if I fail the action command, I do 0 damage. Multi-bounce. Okay. Dang it. Okay, spin jump. Oh, I can definitely regular jump on these guys now. Uh, bomb. Ooh, definitely not him though. Okay, bomb. Missed. Multi bounce. I failed the action command. Okay. Multi bounce. And bomb. Okay. We have Phantom Flames. Will this actually get me below? Nope. It feels like I should, though. You know, I have not used Vivian that often in this playthrough this time. I'm normally always on Goombella, Vivian, or Bobbery. I'm almost just tempted to put on the bump badge too. No, I promised myself that I would showcase the Palace of Shadow, and that's what I'm gonna do. Even in its most mundane battles like this. Did you know what? If I come across enough battles, I level up before the Queen of Shadow. Or the demon. Brodus. That is gonna be gone. I didn't spoil the ending. What? And jump, jump. This has really been super fun though, guys. I've had a blast making this series. I literally could not stop playing. It was so much fun. Why did I spin jump? I didn't spin jump before. Weird. Do boom. 
Okay. There we go. Okay. Yeah, we're definitely gonna get star points back. Get all of these collected. Next room. Oh, is this? Oh, it is, guys! I have wonderful news with that. If we go into our badge log, 85 of 85. We've now collected each badge at least once. So not only do we have recipes, we have the badges, we have all the crystal stars. The map is kind of bland, but that's because it's all separated based on the individual areas. Guys, I'm super happy. We're filling in my log sheet. Ooh, we'll take that. Jam and jelly, good, but, uh, shroom roast? Shroom roast. Okay. Oh, we have a new puzzle here. It's called Follow the Flame. Down, down. Now I think it's up. This is identical to the Bowser Castle puzzle. Down, down, up. Up? Really? Now I think it's down, up, down. Down. Follow the flame and you'll get through this puzzle. I can't remember where we get... You know what? It's probably with her. We're inside the Palace of Shadows. Seems normal, but I bet there's a secret here. We should check everything to make sure there's nothing amiss, don't you think? You know, look for anything out of the ordinary. So that is the hint. Down, up, down. And welcome to the courtyard. We get we get out of one weird room just to find another one. It's huge. I mean, it's like an underground city, right? What is this place? This is the palace garden. It feels so cold and icky. It's like time stopped here. We gotta do something about those chain chomps in the middle if we want to move on. Yeah, that's right. I don't mean the moving ones. Okay. So what she's referring to is these ones. Kabloom! And these switches... Or this switch... Revealed a secret. And we could go here. Let's save. And let's go here. Okay. Uh, spin jump. Oh, guess I don't need to spin jump. I totally forgot about that. Bomb. Stylish. 
Oh, Chain Chomp. You wasted your move. He just wanted to be a big dog. That's okay. So we clear that, and then over here we have another Chain Chomp. And this reveals... that this piece was also fake. So now we have a place to boat ride to, but we're not gonna do that. Instead, we're gonna go and say, uh, heal? No. Kaboom. Lucky! Ooh, my dodges were amazing! Get rid of that chain chomp. And this one. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to take a break because next time we're going to go through this next door, not the one in the background, but this one up here. And get going into the next area. I hope you guys are enjoying this series of Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. If you like what you saw, please leave a comment in the comment section below, mash the like button, and subscribe if you have not for more Paper Mario content. We'll see you all next time. Drez Plays, out.